a connector trail? Facts versus fiction. The town of Unicoi has joined with the town of Irwin to complete a community transportation planning grant to study the possibility of a bike and pedestrian trail that will connect the two towns. The purpose of this project is to provide safe and easy passage to and from the towns by way of a multimodal trail. This project will also increase tourism within the county, which will increase retail sales tax revenues. The town of Unicoi is committed to its no property tax stance, so we work diligently to create opportunities for revenue flow by increasing retail sales. This grant, funded through the Tennessee Department of Transportation, paid for an engineering firm, CDM Smith, to explore the possibility of such a trail and present options for the location and construction of the path. After meetings with a local steering committee comprised of representatives from both districts, CDM Smith has now completed their research and submitted two main options for where the connector trail could one day be built. When the Board of Mayor and Aldermen for each town eventually vote on this plan, they will only be voting to accept it as a long-term goal for the future to be built over time if and when the funds are available. Now, down to the facts. CDM Smith has presented two separate options for a connector trail between Unicoi and Irwin. Option one is along the 107 highway. Option two is along Zane Woodson Road. The highway 107 option is already the favorite choice among most citizens and town officials for a variety of reasons. First, this is a state route, and a vast majority of TDOT grants require the project be on a state route, so it could jeopardize the possibility of future funding if we don't build it along 107. Second, this option requires far less land acquisition, which can be costly and unfavorable among citizens. Third, this is the option that the bicyclists would prefer to use if it were made safe for them to travel. The second alternative for trail location presented by the engineers is Zane Woodson Road, accessed, of course, by Massachusetts Avenue down near the school. This option has a lot of challenges that the town administration takes seriously. First, the railroad owns a large right-of-way surrounding their tracks, and they're not often in favor of trails in such close proximity to live rails. Second, the homes along that area are extremely close to the road meaning more land acquisition would be needed than on the Highway 107 route. The town is not in the business of taking people's property, and we don't want the cost of the project to go up just because we need to buy more land. Now, as we said previously, this is just a concept. So the Board of Mayor and Aldermen will eventually choose which option they want to adopt as a long-term plan for connectivity with Irwin. Keep in mind, this isn't the first time the town has looked into possible trails within our limits. Years ago, there was research regarding an Appalachian Trail Loop, and while such a trail would be beneficial to the community, it has not yet come to fruition. So the reality of this project is not something we will see completed for years to come. When that time comes, proper public notice will be given and the Alderman will take into account the citizens' feedback from these proposed routes. We hope this begins to clear up some of the confusion surrounding misinformation that was recently distributed by concerned citizens to certain areas of the community. The Town of Unicoi and the Aldermen want to correct a few factual errors that were part of that miscommunication. First, the trail was never and will never be intended to connect to Walmart or Exit 34. Second, as a property owner in the downtown area, you are at a very low risk of losing your front yard, since the Zane Whitson option is not the favored route for this project. If you do happen to own property along Highway 107, there is a chance that some property may be needed to complete the trail. But in that case, the town would make an offer to purchase the small portion of land, and then negotiations would take their course from there. But we want to state again that the town is not in the business of taking people's land. Third, the majority of funding for this project would be from grants, many of which only require the town to match as little as 5%. That's a huge deal for a town that could never accomplish such a project on its own dime. Look around at other communities that are thriving. Do you ever ask yourself how they did it? Grants! The state offers ways to help rural communities prosper without the burden of the full price tag, and smart communities take advantage of those opportunities. Even smarter communities partner with other communities. We want to be a smarter town. 
We are building a future for generations to come, and that's important. So rest assured, we're going to take our time, evaluate every possibility, hear the opinion of the community, and only proceed if and when the time is right. For more information on the Unicoi Irwin Connector Trail, contact Ashley Shelton at communications and programs at unicoytn.net.